Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today for Sketchbook Sunday, episode 25. Today I have something a bit different for you. Well, it's very different, not just a bit different. <laughs> um, instead of drawing, I guess you could say I'm writing. I am practicing modern calligraphy with a dip pen and some archival calligraphy ink. I never really had much of an interest in calligraphy. This literally sparked out of nowhere. Um, I saw a few videos of people writing and drawing with dip pens and something clicked in my head. You know, I'd never used one previously. I never had any interest in using one. I always thought that it was some kind of archaic device that's not really going to do anything for me because it's inconvenient. Why would I want a pen that I have to dip into ink when there are pens that already have ink in them, you know, and, and they're really smooth and easy to use. So why would I go for this old time device? But something shifted and I wanted to try it out for myself so I'm just practicing the alphabet in a beautiful font that doesn't come naturally to me. I was referencing uh, letters that I was looking at on my computer screen and trying to copy them and it's actually kind of challenging not gonna lie. My letters came out a bit messy and wonky looking. They weren't all uniform. It was just purely a practice uh, for fun kind of exercise. It definitely takes a while to figure out how to comfortably use these types of pens uh, because they are so different, but I am loving the effect and I've always wanted to have this really beautiful handwriting, so I'm just practicing for fun. Uh, but doing this has definitely given me a new appreciation for calligraphy. Uh, as an art form and an appreciation for dip pens and what you can do with them. I feel like I learned a lot and I feel like my previous stance on these dip pens was based on ignorance and a huge lack of experience. I think once I get the letters down, uh, like I can just write them comfortably for my head, this would be really useful for making personal cards for people or even for my own videos. I would eventually like to create my own font that I could just use everywhere but mostly for videos and you know just have that really personal touch even more where all the text you see coming up in the video was literally handwritten by me. I think that's an interesting goal to set for myself to accomplish this year but I'm not quite there yet so I will keep you guys posted on that development you know somewhere down the line. I also found this calligraphy exercise to be very relaxing. I'm gonna keep on practicing and hopefully get the hang of it. I would eventually just like to be able to write like this naturally without having to rely on referencing what the letters should look like. Um, I want it to just come naturally to me as if it's my own handwriting. I think that would be really cool. Um, I don't think it'll be too hard though because my own handwriting is already kind of like a blend between cursive and print. I always like when people have really intense handwriting that has a lot of character to it. I don't know. You can also actually use dip pens for drawing and flipping over to the previous page I basically just went crazy and wrote my name a bunch of times, wrote a bunch of random crap, words, whatnot. It's just a whole bunch of nonsense and practicing with the pen. I also tried to sketch a few florals with it. It, it definitely has a more stylized, illustrated look to it, and I obviously can't shade with it the same way that I would use charcoal or a graphite pencil. Um, in that case, I would heavily rely on smudging. And I'm sure there are various ink smudging techniques I have yet to learn, but in this case, for the rose sketch, I went with a very scribbly uh, crosshatch-esque <laughs> shading method. I honestly have a lot to learn. Still, I'm, I'm a complete noob with this medium. I don't even know if I'm using the right nib. Like, I just bought it on a whim. But I'm gonna do more research. I'm gonna keep trying to get better at it. So that's basically it. I didn't really have a lot of art to share with you today, but, you know, it's just me trying to write a pretty alphabet and be a noob but this is a new medium that i was really excited to try and i wanted to share with you guys i also want to share with you some of the awesome artwork that my patrons have created over on my patreon page we do a monthly painting challenge where i give you a reference and you can basically do whatever you want with it and submit it to the community page and it's only a dollar a month to participate we're actually just about to start a new one if you're interested so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching. If you don't want to miss my next video, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell icon to receive a notification when I upload. 
I hope you have a beautiful and inspiring week. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.